Microsoft set to acquire the gaming company Activision Blizzard for $68.7 billion. In large, this image Activision Blizzard is behind such successful franchises as Call of Duty and Candy Crush. It is being acquired by Microsoft. Jakub Porzikier photo slash Getty Images hide caption. Toggle caption Jakub Porzikier photo slash Getty Images Activision Blizzard is behind such successful franchises as Call of Duty and Candy Crush. It is being acquired by Microsoft. Jakub Porzikier photo slash Getty Images Microsoft says it is set to buy games behemoth Activision Blizzard. According to a press release, the move allows Microsoft, the maker of Xbox, to take up space in the mobile gaming space as well as the oncoming metaverse. Activision Blizzard is behind such storied franchises as Call of Duty, StarCraft, Candy Crush, and more. That varied roster allows the company to reach a broad audience, from dabblers to esports enthusiasts, but the company has a fair share of baggage. In November, the Wall Street Journal reported that Activision Blizzard CEO Bobby Kotick knew about years of sexual misconduct claims, from alleged rapes to harassment, and didn't notify the company's board. The company is currently being sued by California's Department of Fair Employment and Housing for its failure to pay women equally as well as its frat boy workplace culture. In September, the company settled an $18 million lawsuit with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission over allegations of harassment and discrimination against female employees. Business Activision Blizzard strikes an $18 million deal over its workplace harassment lawsuit. Activision Blizzard employees grew so frustrated at Kodak's handling of these situations over the years that they've repeatedly pressed Kodak to step down from his position. According to the press release, Kodak will continue to serve as CEO of Activision Blizzard. But, once the deal closes, the Activision Blizzard business will report to Phil Spencer, CEO, Microsoft Gaming. Microsoft clarified with IGN that Kodak will continue to lead Activision Blizzard as CEO, but will report to Spencer after the close. Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella seemed to allude to Activision Blizzard's reputation in an investor call. Tuesday where he stressed the importance of fostering a safe and equitable workplace culture. After the close, we will have significant work to do in order to continue to build a culture where everyone can do their best work, Nadella said. The deal is valued at $68.7 billion and is subject to regulatory approval. This is just the latest in gaming acquisition news. Last week, Take-Two Interactive announced it would buy Zynga for $11.04 billion.